This is your WXEO Daily News Roundup for Bull Falls Radio, 98.9 FM and 1230 AM in Wausau. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Weather officials confirmed that several tornadoes touched down in Wisconsin Tuesday night. Tornadoes mainly affected rural areas, but there were so many power outages and downed tree limbs in the streets in Madison that school was canceled. About 59,000 homes and businesses across Wisconsin lost power. People all over Wisconsin are busy cleaning up Tuesday night storm damage. The Wisconsin Department of Agriculture, Trade, and Consumer Protection recommends you avoid door-to-door repair crews who use high-pressure sales tactics. That gap says you're better off asking your friends, neighbors, or your insurance agent for recommendations. Police in Waukesha are giving a tent community until the end of next week to pack up and leave. Waukesha Police Specialist Jason Fink says they're not targeting people because of their homelessness. But it can lead into uh, certain crimes, like if, it, if someone is trespassing or littering or loitering or being disorderly, and we get a call from someone in the community for us to go and address those situations. The land is owned by an out-of-state corporation that only recently learned that people were living there. Wisconsin is allowing hunters to take 12 elk this year. The Department of Natural Resources announced the quota for this year's elk hunt yesterday. There's a lottery for elk permits, and hunters can win it just once in their lifetime. The deadline to apply is the end of next week. Hunters and fishers in Wisconsin are keeping a close eye on lawmakers' work on the 2024 federal farm bill. Aaron Sandquist with Pheasants Forever says the bill needs strong private land conservation protection. We have a lot of needs in in states like Minnesota and Wisconsin, particularly in the prairie areas and private land habitat provided by the Farm Bill, like CRP, is critically important. Advocates say 40 million people would lose access to hunting and fishing opportunities without the Conservation Reserve Program. Wisconsin's rate for melanoma skin cancer is slightly higher than the U.S. average. Dermatologist Adam Sutton says that's why it's important to get checked. An individual that has 50 or more moles on their body has about a fourfold increased risk for the development of melanoma. So that's pretty significant. Even if we have really normal looking moles, if we have a lot of them, we're at greater risk for the development of melanoma. One in five Americans will have some type of skin cancer by age 70. Wisconsin ranks second in the nation for the most prescription drugs collected during this spring's drug take-back day. Wisconsin collected more than 55,000 pounds of unwanted medications. Wisconsinites have turned in 1.3 million pounds of unwanted drugs since drug take-back day began in 2010. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Now here's what you need to know closer to home. For WXCO News, I'm Brittany Merlot. The National Weather Service has confirmed that a tornado touched down in the village of Unity, right on the border of Clark and Marathon counties. The preliminary damage assessment reports peg this twister as an EF1, with wind speeds that reached 105 miles per hour. It originated just to the southwest of Unity in Clark County and traveled quickly northeast, impacting the west side of Unity, then continuing northeast before dissipating just east of Highway 13, close to Mulberry Road. There was structural damage to homes and garages, along with downed trees and power lines. Cleanup is now underway. Unity Hall has food, water, and beverages for volunteers helping clear the town of debris. And Happy Beers, a bar in Unity, has a generator running and is another place offering free food, drinks, and bathrooms for people cleaning up. A second tornado has been confirmed in Marathon County from Tuesday night's severe weather outbreak. In the village of Edgar, an EF1 tornado was confirmed by the National Weather Service to have touched down with maximum wind speeds of 90 miles per hour. Surveyors determined that the tornado developed near Wurzburg Road and headed northeast toward County Road U. The total path of the twister was three and a half miles long and 60 yards wide. Scattered damage was reported along Wurz Road, including a collapsed barn and tons of trees tossed. And the National Weather Service confirms Tuesday night's storms spawned at least five tornadoes in Wisconsin, including an EF1 tornado that hit Kakana. The Kakana twister was on the ground around 9 o'clock and cut a path that was 1.3 miles long and 50 yards wide. Winds reached 95 miles per hour, causing tree damage and damage to a few buildings, leaving more than 50 people displaced with power out for many more.
Addressing the mental health crisis in the state and the nation is going to take the entire community working together. Natalie Albert, a mental health reporter with USA Today Network. It can't just fall on students. It can't just fall on parents. It can't just fall on teachers. It has to be a full continuum of care that the community is wrapping themselves around. The Stevens Point man will spend the next eight years in prison for possession of child pornography. 31-year-old Alex McDonald was sentenced on May 17th to eight years of initial confinement and then following eight years of extended supervision. McDonald pled not guilty but was convicted of seven counts at his trial in February. Advanced forensic analysis of multiple cellular devices allowed investigators to develop clear proof of McDonald's guilt. The elk harvest quotas have been released by the Wisconsin DNR. For both the Black River Elk Zone and the Clam Lake Elk Zone, a four-bull harvest will be issued. Per treaty rights, the Ojibwa tribes may declare up to half of the harvest quota within the ceded territory, which includes the Clam Lake Elk Zone. Wisconsin residents must apply for this once-in-a-lifetime hunt by May 31st. Head to the DNR's elk hunting webpage or get the license through the online Go Wild portal. It only costs $7 and those funds are used to create and enhance elk habitat. If you're selected in the drawing, an elk hunting license costs $49. Winners will be notified by early June, and Wisconsin residents can only draw an elk tag once in their lifetime. And all winners must participate in a Wisconsin elk hunter education course. The class covers Wisconsin elk history, behavior, and scouting and hunting techniques. And that's what you need to know. I'm Brittany Merlot for WXCO. The Packers wrapping up OTAs. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with Sports. And the Packers wrapping up their first week of OTA practices today. They'll be back at it next week after Memorial Day. They've had a rash of torn pectoral muscle injuries in the weight room. Right tackle Zach Tom, tight end Tucker Kraft, and even Matt LaFleur suffering torn pec muscles while bench pressing, each requiring surgery. Yeah, Tuck's going to be out until training camp. You know, hopefully he's back by training camp. If not, it should be early on. He's on He's on the Matt LaFleur plan right now. <laughs> the all-NBA first team announced, and for the sixth time in a row, the Bucks, Giannis and Tedekupo making the list. Baseball, Brewers losing one to nothing last night in Miami in a pitcher's duel that was over in an hour and 57 minutes. Willie Adamas says he had a closed door meeting with Pat Murphy. Me and Murph, we had, a, we had a really good conversation for like 20 minutes. I told him, I said, you know, like me, I've been great mentally because I've, I've been hitting the ball hard. It's just like, like you say, you know, they, they haven't been dropping, but if you lose, it, made it makes it worse, you know. With sports, I'm Mike Clemens. I'm Pete with the 60-second Showbiz Beat. When it comes to memorable toilet scenes in movie history, Jeff Daniels stands or sits alone. Daniels, who starred in Dumb and Dumber with Jim Carrey, looked back on his iconic bathroom scene, saying his agents didn't want him to do the film because of it and thought it would ruin his career as a serious actor. Daniels was scared they might be right, but stayed the course because he wanted to work with Jim Carrey. Daniel says he spent over two hours on the toilet while filming and made so many faces he almost passed out. He told USA Today recently that Clint Eastwood pulled him aside at a charity golf outing in reference to the scene, saying that the same thing happened to him on a date after eating shellfish that didn't agree with him. Not sure if Clint understood Daniels was only pretending to have a blowout, but either way. Dumb and Dumber went on to make almost $250 million at the box office, and despite the fact that toilets were destroyed, Daniels' career was not. Fans of The Voice are probably still recovering after the show crowned a winner for season 25. The season finale took place Monday and Tuesday with five finalists. Coaches Reba McIntyre and John Legend's contestants were two of the finalists, with Team Reba coming out on top. Your winner, Asher Havan, was crowned the season's champ. Yahoo Entertainment reports that Reba and Gwen Stefani will return as coaches, and the show will add new coaches, Michael Buble and Snoop Dogg, for season 26. That show just got a whole lot cooler. After four seasons, the CW Network is canceling the show Walker. In a related story, there was a show called Walker on the CW for the last four years. Deadline reports that the show was the CW's highest rated over the last four years. The network cited high licensing fees as one of the reasons for cancellation. The show was a spinoff of Walker, Texas Ranger. Executive producer and star Jared Padalecki also starred in the CW's Supernatural for 15 seasons. 
The CW would like people to know it still has a whole mess of shows on the air that people have never heard of. Guests have been announced for Season 5 of David Letterman's Netflix show, My Next Guest Needs No Introduction. Dave's lineup this season includes Miley Cyrus and Charles Barkley. One segment features Barkley teaching the host how to be a better golfer. According to Variety, My Next Guest, which launched in 2018, a couple years after Letterman left his Late Show gig, has been nominated for an Emmy in the hosted nonfiction series category every year it's been on. The man who punched actor Steve Buscemi is being held on $50,000 bond. The incident took place May 8th while Buscemi was walking in Midtown Manhattan. Buscemi's credits include the Boardwalk Empire and the Big Lebowski, among many others. He was treated for minor injuries and released after the attack. This comes just weeks after another Boardwalk Empire cast member, Michael Stuhlbarg, was attacked in Central Park when a man hit him in the back of the head with a rock. Man, how much do people hate the Boardwalk Empire? For more showbiz fun, tune into Nightlight with me, Pete Schwaba, weeknights from 7 to 9 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. Mostly sunny today. We'll get to 74 for a high this afternoon with wind out of the west becoming south at 5 to 15. Tonight, clear 52. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, scattered thunderstorms, and a little breezy, too. Tomorrow, our high right around 70. I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Currently, it is 60. That's your WXCO Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at bullfallsradio.com.